Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll show you how to make a simple following AI in Unreal Engine. Let's get started. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I have a completely empty third person Unreal Engine project. It's called AI Follow Tutorial. So yeah, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate the ready VP third person character. I'm gonna duplicate it and call it just VP third person character AI. Next, I'm going to create an AI controller which will be responsible for the actions of the AI. So this is going to be AI controller and you have a couple options here. You have AI controller and a detour, crowd AI controller. A detour is basically, they will also avoid each other so it's a lot more smarter. But this is more performance so you got to choose which one you want. If you just want a simple follow, and this, this will still avoid obstacles but this is more aware of other AI controllers. So I would choose this. I'm going to just do um, VP AI controller. Then go over to the VP third person character AI. First of all, we're going to drag in to the scene at the VP third person character AI. We're going to disconnect all these because I don't want any input actions to be triggered. So disconnect them, them. You can delete them, but I'll just leave them. So now I'll go to class defaults and search for AI controller. I will check the set the AI controller class to the one we just created. And then I'll go up to spawns. Oh, uh, that's the this one. Our plus AI yeah, and just make sure it's uh, as placed in the world as spawned. You can ch check it uh, to whatever you want, but this is the best one. For right now, you also want to delete the camera because this is the AI. It doesn't need a camera. So here, here's the, here's the AI. Now let's go over to the VP AI controller. So here you can actually make the actual logic. So what we're gonna do is it's gonna be a AI move to node. So here it is, pretty simple node. For the pawn, you want to set get control pawn because this, we're calling this from the AI controller. So we want to get the get control pawn. Target actor, we want to be get player pawn, which is the actual player, because we want the AI to follow the player. And for the, you can, you can set this to whatever you want. Acceptance is like when it stops. I'll just set this to like 10. So they don't like, so, so I'll set that to 10 and just add that. Now this fails, let's say the character jumps and then it, it like lost its path. It's completely stopped. But we want it to continue affiliate to find another path to the player. So a uh, delay node to wait for 0.2 seconds. That uh, is success node. So it's with either success or fail. I want it to always follow the player. Then add this and just to let that delete. All right. So now technically that should ready. What I want to also do is I'm going to increase the radius for the avoidance and you set this to your section. Now, if you do play, you'll see that it doesn't work. The reason for that is because we need to add a navmesh volume. So it's navmesh bounce volume. Just scale it up to cover. And how do you know if it's works or not? Let's press P on your keyboard and we can see all the navigatable area for the AI. So green is navigatable and and, and the non-green is not available. So yeah, this is and now. Let's try playing and boom. The AI is following me now. And the animations are managed by the animation blueprint that already existed in the template. See if it follows me. So yeah. And since we use the detour, we can now add a bunch of them. And then we'll actually avoid each other as well. So let's have six. So add the little, these little fellows. That, there are a bunch of them. They're actually avoiding each other. They're kind of smart. Then jump here. There, let's say you want to have a little bridge here. So could just add a cube here. You can go steal it. To act as a bridge, so let's add a, a, act it as a bridge. Just make it a 
rotate it to make it a very small bridge as well. So it's only one or A at a time. I just move this so that they immediately go on to the navigatable area when they. So yeah, but you see, green it's not navigatable. It's because it's too small. But you can actually fix this without changing the size by adding a navlet proxy. Basically, navlet proxy is like you tell you tell the path to the AI without them trying to figure it out. So it's pretty it's pretty useful. Of course, we'll do these two points. Make sure they actually follow the bridge. So just move these guys like this. Let's hit now. So I fify. Seems like to move them a little. The move this guy here further. I gotta move this guy a little bit. Like that. I might just scale this a little bit. But still not green. So let's inhale. So this move here. Interestingly, it still doesn't work. For Oh, it should work. But this is a green one. If I'm gonna kill like this, then it has to work. Right there we go. So I guess the does the nail like also has to has to be a little bit big for the nail like back to work at all. But yeah, so this this way it works. All right, so yeah, that'll be it for this video. Uh, this is a pretty short video. I'll probably post another video this week again. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it helpful. And yeah, just subscribe for future content. See ya.